What you doing today? All right, Olaf, today we're gonna do the transmission pan. I noticed when uh, I was changing out the oil pan under there, cause that was rusted out, that the transmission pan was pretty bad. Yeah, it was bad. Okay, Olaf, thanks for your input. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. Alright, once again we'll be using some of uh, Olaf's famous green bags. Alright. Hey, you said I could use them. Alright, out of my ear. Come on, Olaf. Really? You're like right on top of me. Literally. Alright, come on. Move. I want to get under there with you. Olaf, no. Ah, you kill me. Come on. You. What are you doing? You weird goat. Come on. Give me a little bit of room. Back out. Come on. Jeez. Alright. Back up. Come on. Ah. Alright. So I got the new one here. I just want to make sure it's the right one. And yeah, that that looks like it'll work. All right, so I got the right pan. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drain the transmission pan first. The transmission fluid actually looks pretty good. Looks pretty decent. And then we're gonna go ahead and start removing all these bolts. We got a visitor. It's Peppa. Hey, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa, you big pig. <laughs> All 
All right. All right, so gasket actually came off with this, which was pretty good. And that way I didn't have to go peeling it and doing too much scraping. Um, right, here's your magnets. And you can see, a little bit of junk on them. So you wanna clean these off. All the metal off. Clean these up pretty good. What you want to do, you want to put them same spot as they were before there so now they're back on that pants when we put it up they'll be in there don't forget about these if you forget about them and it's not gonna catch any of the shavings or anything that comes off in there and that'll mess up your transmission so now this is our filter we're gonna replace that well, let's clean up the, the gasket any gasket material here There's something you just don't see every day. Got a sleeping pig with a chicken on it. It's important while you're doing this that you remember the order that your bolts go in because uh, you have like a large bolt, a medium sized bolt, and then small bolts and you got to remember what order and which holes they go in otherwise you won't get this back together correctly. All right, so we got the filter off. Um. Okay, so this is the most important part. Um, this is where I started to lose my mind. Uh, so this is the bolt that has uh, just a little bit of threading at the tip. 
the rest of it is smooth. I was trying to put it in and it wasn't catching on anything. So I was thinking in my head, did I strip it out when I was taking it out? Or you know, what, what the deal was. And uh, I just could not get it to go up in there. And come to find out that if you take the filter off, that last bolt there, um, there's a nut that sits on top of the, the valve body and it's loose. So you actually have to drop the valve body in order to put that one screw back in for that filter. It's just such a poor design by Nissan and it was driving me crazy because I had no clue what was going on. So yeah, you'll see uh, as I go along here, I'm gonna have to drop the valve body out of it and everything. So, so much for a simple transmission and gasket change here. So, just to give anyone a heads up who wants to go ahead and change the transmission filter on their Nissan, uh, pretty much uh, it sucks. Um, all your bolts will go back in except for this one over here. And this one over here, the reason it won't go back in is because it's got a nut. And if that nut moves over, or it'll slide over here, or slide over here, you can forget about it. You're gonna have to take this whole valve body out. So that's uh, pretty much what I had to do. And now I'm in the process of putting everything back together. So all for that. So. Just so you know. This is, uh, I can't stress enough why it's so important that you film or take pictures of anything you're, you're taking apart because there's so many different size bolts that went into this thing in the different positions that you'd never be able to remember where they all went to. So luckily, um, you know, I, I film everything uh, with my camera and with my phone and I take lots of pictures uh, so I don't have trouble getting everything all back together. I also want to mention how fun this is to put in off the ground laying on rocks while it's dark out. Um, there's also a little spring that you need to balance on top which goes on the top side of the valve body. So you got to balance it with one hand and try and get the spring in and then get this set to try and put a couple bolts in to hold it. So. It, it is a task, and if you got a friend with a lift, uh, they're going to be your best friend, uh, so you're not like.
All right, so those are all tightened up now. So what I did to make sure that the gasket uh, would seat right and it would be uh, so you could put the screws through um, without it uh, being off-centered, I put a couple of the bolts in and uh, pushed them through so that way that the gasket is held where it's supposed to be. Then what I did, I went ahead and, and torqued them down. Uh, they recommend around uh, 12 foot-pounds. Um, I just tighten them by hand and just make sure I'm not squeezing the gasket out. And what I'll do, once I get the fluid in and get it running, I'll get under back under there with the light and check and make sure that there's no, uh, no dripping of the transmission fluid. Alright, we're going to use Max Life, and this has the Dex 2 and 3, so this will work with the Nissan. And it's going to take four quarts of it. I had to add uh, one more quart making it five because I forgot that when we took the valve body out that pretty much holds roughly about a quart and uh, that got emptied out when we were trying to get it all back together. Okay, so last night I finished up and uh, was finally able to get that valve body uh, back in and uh, man, I tell you, that is a pain in the butt. If anyone is gonna change the uh, transmission filter on any of these Nissans, just be warned that the way that they made it, it's you get all your bolts back in except for one. And the reason that is is because the one bolt, uh, which doesn't, it only has a little bit of threading at the end, and it's a long bolt. And it goes up in and then there's a nut that sits on top of the valve body now the thing is when you take it out the nut just goes off to the side and there's no way of getting it back in there other than dropping the valve body like i did last night which was horrendous especially laying on the ground and once you have the whole valve body out then you have to put everything back together and man for the being a transmission filter it's just a little mesh screen I would recommend just leaving it I wouldn't even change it because it doesn't really do much I don't think um, but man what a horrible design by Nissan and uh, it's just definitely not recommended to do uh, so a simple transmission pan uh, and and change turned into a whole five-hour project um, so I, I would just leave the filter next time and just do the pan and gasket and you'd be much better off. So hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one there. So take care, guys. Bye.
You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.